Hello everyone, I'm Claydab. Today we are going to introduce a rear wing technology used in Formula 1 racing, the drag reduction system, DRS. This technology uses aerodynamic principles to reduce our resistance for increasing vehicle speed. The 2011 season witnessed the introduction of DRS technology to the Formula 1 World Championship. The rules of the race originally prohibited any moving parts that affected aerodynamics, except the drag reduction system. Racing drivers can turn on the DRS in designated areas of the track to allow the rear wing to adjust accordingly, thereby reducing air resistance on the straight lane. This not only makes it possible for the car to overtake but also greatly increases the spectacle of the game. In Formula One racing, DRS opens an adjustable flap on the car's rear wing to reduce resistance, so the car behind will have an overtaking advantage over the car in front. According to FIA estimates, the adjustable rear wing can increase the speed boost of about 10 to 20 km per hour. When the DRS is off, the downforce increases, allowing for better cornering. Normally, the rear wing is closed in slightly upwards, but not quite perpendicular to the overtaking. Being in this position adds downforce to the car, resulting in better handling and traction. When the driver turns on the DRS, the rear wing will move to a position substantially parallel to the track allowing the airflow to flow smoothly over the rear wing of the race car, thereby reducing the downforce on the rear. Reducing the air downforce of the car at high speed can reduce the frictional resistance of the car's tires. So, a higher speeds can be achieved, which is more conducive to overtaking. However, this innovative technology, designed to encourage overtaking, has strict rules for the use in the main race. The following conditions must be met before the DRS is allowed to be turned on. First, it can only be used after entering the overtaking area specified on the track. The overtaking area is often called the DRS zone and is designated by FIA. Secondly, when the time difference between the rear car and the front car is within one second, the rear car activate the DRS, including the lead car chasing the rear car. In addition, for safety purposes, it is stipulated that no use in the start and the restart of the race and the first two laps after departure of the safety car. The DRS may not be used by the front car for defensive purposes, cannot be used during dangerous race conditions, such as rain, slippery track, accidents near the DRS zone, etc. The DRS zones are usually straight tracks, and no activation is allowed on turning. There are two or three such areas per race. There is a detection point on the track where the system will check whether the car can activate the DRS or not. Drivers and teams receive signals from sensors at checkpoints to confirm the availability of the DRS. Then, the driver is able to activate DRS by pressing a button on the steering wheel. When the driver starts to brake near the end of the DRS zone in preparation for turning, the rear wing returns to the closed state. Fans have diverse opinions on the introduction of the DRS. Some people think that this solves the problem of lack of overtaking highlights in the racing car and greatly improves the viewing experience of the race, but others would argue this makes overtaking too easy, and the driver in front does not have an equal chance to keep his position because the rules do not allow the car in front to use the DRS for defense. That's all for the DRS today, I'm Claydab. Take you into a more exciting world.